Let's just r remind viewers about what was happened and what has happened. There was a, 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 an investigation set up by the government, which reported back last year into your brother's murder, and it found the Metropolitan Police to be institutionally yeah. corrupt, in part because the Metropolitan Police was That's slow correct. to hand over documents. Um, but this report today has concluded that, in fact, the Met wasn't institutionally corrupt. And any hampering of the inquiry was not deliberate, yeah, well, but it was critical. So the inference here seems to be it's not institutionally corrupt because they're just not that organised. No, I, I would disagree with that because if, if the, the, the points raised in the, in the HMIC press release, the actual points they raised about, about their the Met's attitude to corruption, in extraordinarily lackadaisical, slapdash uh, attitude towards corruption. I mean, it's quite clear from that report. I mean, it is a scathing report. Now, whether you call uh, that, in, that in itself institutional corruption, uh, I would, you know, is, is, is something that can be argued. My view, my view hasn't changed one bit since the uh, since the panel report came out last year. And I'm sure that there is a culture of cover-up and corruption in the Metropolitan Police. And anybody, anybody who has studied uh, the, the way they work on this, um, I don't think they can come to, a, to, to any other conclusion. So it's, it, it's very interesting to see the report, the, the HMIC re report from today. Uh, it is in itself a scathing report. As it says that the Met's anti-corruption, the Met's anti-corruption uh, system is not fit for purpose. Yeah, it says corruption is and, almost certainly uh, higher than the Met understands. It's not fit for purpose. It's fundamentally flawed, but it's not institutional. We spoke to Matt Parr, yeah. the HM Inspector of Constabulary, who authored this report, and he said that. He spoke about yeah. what you were saying there, indifference, lax vetting procedures and blatant disregard, it seems, for yeah. procedure and monitoring. It sounds more like incompetence. Uh, I, I would say it's a lack of will. Not incompetence, it's a lack of will. They have the skills, he points out that in the report, they have the skills in anti-corruption, but they are not using them properly. Yeah, he, he went on to say it's unacceptable that 35 years after your brother's murder, the Met hasn't done enough to ensure its failings from that investigation cannot be repeated. In fact, we found no evidence that someone somewhere had adopted the view that this must never happen again. The Met have responded and they've said that they realise there's a lot to improve on. In fact, work has already begun. Do you trust them to improve? No. I don't. Frankly, I, I mean, I've, I've, my experience of these people extends a, a, for a long time, and uh, it took me 25 years to get them to admit to a tiny fraction of the corruption that actually went on in that uh, report. That the whole system, the whole attitude that I encountered was cover up, cover up, cover up. Uh, Alice, throughout. did you think you'll ever get answers? Almost Will you and your throughout. family ever get what you're looking for, do you think? No, no, no. No, no, we won't. I mean, uh, as far as I'm concerned, this is really as far as I'm going to go with this. Uh, obviously, um, I, I want to see improvement. I hope for it, but unless there is root and branch change in the, in the leadership of the police and... Uh, the people in the Home Office and uh, people in, who, who exercise political oversight of the police, unless, there is a, unless that changes very markedly, we will see no improvement. 